This is Fred Ziomik here with Jackson Guitars, and this is Behind the Riff. So you might have seen me, uh, you know, some of my past bands uh, played with Darkest Hour for a number of years, uh, played with Prong. Uh, current bands uh, play in a punk band called Lower Class Brats and uh, the riff that I wanted to talk to you about today is actually from uh, my latest heavy project, God Collider. Um, but the kind of the origins of the riff uh, go back uh, to Darkest Hour days. Um, in anticipation of our, our first album coming out, we had worked for years on it, uh, getting it ready, recording it, found a label, went out on tour for probably three or four months uh, during the summer, uh, you know, leading up into the summer and through the summer. And right after the last show of the last tour of that summer, uh, the a and uh, guy from the record label took us out to dinner and told us that the label was folding and they were uh, going to still put out the record, <laughs> but not promote it. Um, which, needless to say, put us back into square one and we had to, uh, you know, get back into writing mode and come up with, you know, a whole new full length. And during that process, had to really pull from, uh, or I found myself pulling from outside influences, you know, not necessarily from the metal genre to get inspiration. Um, I've always been a huge fan of, uh, you know, darker pop music like Depeche Mode, uh, Sisters of Mercy, um, Susie and the Banshees, and the list goes on and on. It occurred to me one day as I was actually listening to who actually influenced this riff, uh, one of my favorite guitar players, Andy Summers from The Police, always loved his arrangements and uh, his cor chord voicings. I was listening to uh, Do 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 Da 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 uh, one day, and like the 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 verse riff came on, and it was uh, you know it's the. <laughs> like that that riff um and the root notes of that i was like oh that that would be cool to use in like you know because in the context of darkest hour you know melodic death metal um you know metalcore uh a lot of root note shifts with other you know other things happening on top from that with the from i, I think it was uh, the last das last dance massacre the last song on uh so sedated, so secure. The chorus riff from that was actually, uh, you know, a modulation of those root notes and, you know, thrown into triplets uh, as opposed to, you know, just the single note arpeggios like uh, Andy Summers was doing. Um, so fast forward, you know, writing uh, on this guy right here as my Rhodes uh, RR24 Mall Crackle. Um, probably one of my my favorite guitars um i have uh actually do have a playthrough and review of the guitar up on my youtube channel the uh, between two amps if you want to check out the the specs on this absolutely love this guitar um you know we're writing for for god collider we have uh, a couple new releases coming out uh in uh the next six months or so so uh, depends on pressing plant times <laughs> at this point. So don't know the actual date, but uh, do know the riff. And uh, um, yeah, we're writing something that was pretty heavy um, and just felt like it needed something to break it up and decided to go back to the Andy Summers well and kind of extrapolate. Uh, it, not so much a riff this time, but more just kind of his chord voicings, especially with the, the ninth, uh, ninth chords. Um, this guitar is tuned to drop A, uh, so way lower than the police. But uh, here, let me play the riff now, put it in the context of the song.
So yeah, uh, we went from uh, Andy Summers to... Uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found something uh, inspirational from that. I'd love to hear uh, if, if any of you out there you know, have pulled from non-metal sources to get inspiration in writing riffs. Uh, I know that's helped me out a lot of times when I've had writer's block or um, just wanted to try something new. Um, really want to thank Jackson and the whole team for having me uh, participate with Behind the Rift. It's been a blast. Uh, if you want to keep up to date on stuff I'm working on, uh, IG handle is fred.zeomic. Uh, also have uh, sometimes put out other videos on Between Two Amps on YouTube. Uh, and if you want to keep up with God Collider, uh, it's all one word, God Collider, uh, on Instagram and uh, Lower Class Brats, of course. So. Hope, uh, hope to see y'all out there. Hope you found some inspiration and uh, talk to you later.